Please, Mommy, can I have just one more? Cupcake? Yes. I begged when I woke up from my nap. You get what you get, and you don't get upset, she said. But I got very upset. After dinner, I ate more cupcakes. Then, I refused to go to bed. Just one more cup, big cupcake, and I'll go to sleep, I promised. Daddy waved a finger at me. You've had enough, he said. The next morning, when I woke up, I was pink. Pink! My face was pink. My hands were pink. And my belly was the color of a sunset, which is pink. You got it. Daddy thought I had played with markers, so he gave me a bath. The pink did not come off. My hair was the color of raspberry, sure, sorbet. I cried because I was so beautiful. I even had pink tears. Pink tears. I put on my pink fairy princess dress and twirled in front of the mirror while Mommy speed dialed the pediatrician, the doctor. I'm Pinkabel. Look at me. I'm Pinkabel, I said. I sang. Mommy grabbed her purse. Just one more cupcake. Please, just one more, I yelled on the way out the door. Mommy took me right to the doctor's office. Dr. Wink looked at me and said, You have a very rare and acute case of pinkititis. Pinkititis. I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Just call me Pinkarella. Then Dr. Wink said, For the next week, no more pink. Cupcakes, pink bubblegum, or pink cotton candy. Boo! To return to normal, you must eat a steady diet of green food. Yuck! On the way home, we stopped at the playground. My friend Allison was there, but she didn't see me because I blended in with the pink peonies, the pink flowers. When I waved to Allison, a bumblebee landed on my nose. Buzz off. I'm not a flower, I scolded the bee. Soon I was surrounded by bees, butterflies and birds. Mommy, I cried, please take me home. When we left the playground, I asked.